Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this video, we are going to solve this question I have here on the screen. The question says, consider the following steady incompressible two-dimensional velocity field V, which is equal to UV and then that's equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x multiplying vector i plus 1.5 minus 0 0.8y multiplying vector j. Generate an analytical expression for the flow streamlines and draw several streamlines in the upper right quadrant for x values that are greater than 1. So let's look at how you are going to solve this question. Okay, so the question says we should generate an, an analytical expression for the flow of the streamlines, okay, and then also draw the streamlines. So first of all, let's generate the analytical expression. The velocity field is given as vector v equals uv, okay, and then that's equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x multiplying i, okay, vector i plus 1.5 minus 0 0.8y multiplying vector j, okay. Okay, so from here we can see that the x component is equal to u and then that's equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x. Okay, and then the y component is equal to v and then that's equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.8y. Okay, so since this is a two-dimensional velocity field, we are going to we are going to ha have the streamline equation to be dy dx okay equals v over u okay then that will be equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.8y okay divided by 0 0.5 plus 0.8x okay so in some cases the analytical expression might be given to you straightforward okay and then sometimes you have to solve for it so depending on the question, you will have to decide on what to do. So we are going to have dy dx okay, to be equal to 1.5 minus 0.8y. Okay, all this divided by 0.5 plus 0.8x. Okay, so I'm going to solve this expression to get the analytical expression. Okay, so let's look at how you are going to do that. So you use separation of variables method to solve this equation. Okay, so we are going to have 0 0.5 okay, plus 0 0.8x multiplying dy. And then that will be equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.8 y multiplying what the x so you want to group the variables okay so what i'll do is that i'll divide both sides by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 x okay divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 x okay so and then this and this will cancel out and then on the right hand side i'm just going to have dy okay i'm just going to have dy equals 1.5 minus 0.8y dx okay divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay so i will multiply both sides by 1 over 1.5 minus 0.8y okay so we have this Okay, so on the left hand side, you will see that this and this will cancel out. Okay, so at the end, our expression will now be, I'm going to have the equation to be 1 over 1.5 minus 0 0.8y dy equals 1 over 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x dx. Okay, so this is what we have now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and then solve the equation okay let me free up some space
okay guys so to solve this equation we are going to integrate both sides okay so let's look at how you are going to do that so find the integral of this expression and also the integral of this so if you do the integration you are going to have on the left hand side you have ln of 1.5 minus 0.8 y divided by minus 0.8 okay and then on the left hand side you will have ln of 0.5 plus 0.8 x divided by 0.8 then you now bring the constant of what integration okay which will be what c naught okay so let's look at what is going to happen so at this point i will multiply through by 0.8 okay so if i do that we are going to have minus ln of 1.5 minus 0.8 y on the left hand side and on the right hand side we are going to have ln of 0.5 plus 0.8 x then plus 0.8 multiplying what c naught okay so let's look at what you are going to do next so at this point you are going to say that let c naught be equal to the natural log of what c1 okay let's take note of that so let me free up some space so that we can continue okay guys so this is what we we have now okay so let's do the substitution you are going to have natural log of 1.5 Okay, minus 0.8y because the natural log of 0.5 plus 0.8x okay plus 0.8 ln c1 okay so let's take let's take this term here to the left hand side okay so we are going to have minus ln of 1.5 minus 0.8y okay minus ln of 0.5 plus 0.8x okay then that will be equal to 0.8 ln of what c1 all right so let's go what you are going to do next so we are going to factor out the negative okay so i'm going to have minus bracket open ln of 1.5 okay, let me write this minus bracket bracket open ln of 1.5 minus 0.8 y okay plus plus ln of 0.5 plus 0.8 x okay equals 0.8 ln c1 okay so now i will cancel the negative from the left hand side okay so we are now going to have ln of 1.5 okay okay let me write this for i'm going to have ln of 1.5 minus 0.8 x okay plus ln of 0.5 plus 0.8 sorry i made a mistake here it's ln of 1.5 minus 0.8 y okay plus ln of 0.5 plus 0.8 x bracket close equals minus 0. Point, minus 0. 0.8 ln of what c1 okay this is what you are going to have okay let me clean what i have here so that you can have some space okay Okay, so we have minus 0 0.8 ln of what c1 okay this is what we have so let's apply some log properties here okay so if you do that you're going to have the natural log of 1.5 minus 0 0.8 y multiplying 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 x okay and then this will be equal to ln of c1 to the power minus 0 0.8 so at this point i will take the exponent of both sides okay exponent then 
if you take the exponent you are now going to have 1.5 minus 0.8y okay multiplying 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay and then this will be equal to c1 okay to the power minus 0 0.8 okay so what you are going to do is that you will see that let c1 to the power minus 0 0.8 be equal to c2 okay so you are now going to have 1.5 minus 0 0.8 0.8y okay multiplying 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x equals what c2 okay so this is a constant okay and then for that reason we represented it with what our new constant c2 okay so let's take note of that okay so now what you are going to do is that you are going to make y the subject okay so let's look at how you are going to do this so i will divide both sides by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay so on the left hand side you are just going to have 1.5 minus 0 0.8y and then on the on the right hand side you have c2 divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay all right so let's go out again to do this so i'll take the 1.5 to the right hand side so i'm going to have minus 0 0.8y equals c2 divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay minus 1.5 so i now multiply through by 1 over okay 1 over minus 0 0.8 okay so i'm going to do that okay so if i do this this will cancel out this okay so on the so on the left hand side we are just going to be left with y okay so y you can just write you can just write this okay you can just write this as a fraction okay i think that will look much more presentable okay so we are just going to have 0 point minus 0 point 8 y Okay, divide by what minus 0 point what 8 okay that's what it means okay so we just cancel out so we're just going to be left with what y okay so y will be equal to on the on the right hand side we're just going to have c2 okay divided by minus okay 0 0.8 multiplying 0 0.5 okay plus 0 0.8 x okay minus 1.5 divided by minus 0 0.8 okay so this will be equal to i will write this as minus c2 divided by 0 0.8 multiplying 0 0.5 okay plus 0 0.8 x plus 1.5 okay minus 1.5 divided by minus 0 0.8 will give us 1.875 okay so let me free up some space okay so let's continue okay so i think i messed this up so let me just write it here you have y you have y equals minus c2 divided by 0 0.8 multiplying 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 x okay plus 1.875 okay so let me just clean this now all right so now what you are going to do next is that you are going to say that okay let minus c2 be equal to our new constant c okay so if we do the substitution our expression is now going to be y equals c divided by 0 0.8 multiplying 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8x okay plus 1.875 so this becomes the analytical expression that you are going to use to draw the graph sometimes you might not have to calculate 
or, or generate for the generate the expression but depending on how your lecturer wants it you just have to go that way so now let's look at how you are going to draw the streamlines okay so to draw the, the streamlines you are going to consider x values that are greater than zero okay so for me my x values are going to be from one to five so i'm going to have one two three four and then five okay so what will happen is that for the c okay this constant c that you have here each value that you will choose will have a separate streamline okay so what you're going to do is that we can consider any values for c okay and then you plot those streamlines for each value of the c okay so you can choose any value for the c okay so for me the c values i will choose from minus one to three so i'm going to have minus one zero one two and then three okay so those are going to be my c values so let's look at how the table is going to be okay i'm just, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how the table will be then we, we use excel to generate the table okay so let's look at that so for the table i'm going to have my x column my y column sorry my c column and then the y column okay okay so in the first column which is the x column you're just going to start with our x values one two three four and then five okay then you start with our first c value which will be minus one okay minus one minus one minus one minus one okay so that's for our first c value so what you do is that you will take the expression that we generated okay and then in place of c you will come and put minus one there okay come and put minus one there okay so now that you have the minus one there you'll be picking the x values okay and then be substituting it into the expression you have to get the y values okay so after getting those y values then you come and repeat the x values again you now come and start the x values from okay you will now come and start the x values from one then end at five again okay so you are now going to have one two three four five then you will repeat the c values okay you start the c values also then now our next c value will be zero so you're going to have zero 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 okay so when we do this you come and put you come and put zero here rather okay you come and put zero here rather so then we'll be changing the x values to get our y values okay then when we are done we continue again okay we come and start our x values again so we are now going to have we are now going to have one two three four five then our next c value is going to be one so we're going to have one 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 okay so you substitute one okay into this expression here okay into that expression and then we will calculate for our y value so that's how the table is going to be so when you are done we plot the x values against the y values okay so let's go ahead and then generate the values okay guys so i'm in excel now so let's look at how you are going to generate the table okay so my first column will be for x okay the second one will be for c and then this one will be for y okay all right so the x values are starting from one two three four and then end at five okay so i will copy this and then click on the next cell and then paste now click in the next cell and then paste okay click in the next cell paste click in the next cell and then paste so depending on the number of c values you have then that will tell you how you will do this okay so the first c value will be minus one minus one and then i'll click on the minus one and then i'll drag it all the way to five the next value will be zero so i will drag it all the way to five okay the next value will be one i will drag it all the way to five the next value will be two okay i will drag it all the way to five okay and then the next value will be what three so i will drag it all the way to five okay so now let's look at how you are going to get the y values so to get the y values you are going to write 
the formula okay so let's look at how you are going to do this okay so let's look at the formula okay i'll show you how the formula is going to be so we are going to start with equal to okay then we open bracket okay then after opening the bracket you know that our c value must come okay so i will open bracket again then i'll click on the first c value which is minus one okay then i'll bring the division sign then i'll open bracket again then we are going to have 0 0.8 okay multiplying bracket open 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 okay you know that would be 0 0.8 multiplying what x okay so you choose our first x value which would be one okay then you close bracket okay you close it again and then you close it again okay then you have plus the 1.875 okay then you close the the big bracket which was which is the first bracket that we started with so from here you just press enter okay so this this is how the formula will be okay you can see it being displayed here okay so that will be the formula so after doing that you just press enter then you click on the value okay then you drag this or drag it down to the to the last value okay to get all your y values okay so those are our y values okay so you are just going to use these values to do the plotting okay so let me demonstrate let me demonstrate to you how the the plot will look like okay so i'll just copy all the all the x values okay and then come and paste it close to the y values okay then i'll just select the two okay i will select the two okay and then i will go to insert go to the charts section and then click on this option and then select this okay so if i select this this is the graph that we are going to have so this is how our plot will look like okay so i'm just going to pick the 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 x values okay and then plot them against the y values okay so that's what you are going to do just like your normal plotting that you do okay that's how you are going to do this also okay so this value here okay represents x equals one and then y equals what 0 0.91 okay so you just plot that you can run the numbers okay so that the plot will be easy and then the second plot which is this represents x equals two and then y equals what one point what two seven nine so you can just run the values like two and then one point what eight or two and then one point two two eight okay so you can just run the values like that so that the plotting will be easy so this is the the third plot which is what one point what three and then one point four four three nine so you are, good, you are just going to plot the x values against the y values okay to get this graph that we have here okay so after doing this you are just going to join the the plot okay to get what the streamline okay so that's how the graph is done okay guys so i'm going to show you how to plot the graph manually okay so let's look at that so our first plot to be one against zero point what nine one three so i'm going to run each of them to two decimal places okay so that'll be what one against zero point what nine one okay so let's just take this to be this is one and then let's say our 0 0.91 should be somewhere here okay let me just make it big so that you can see it more okay and then the next plot okay the next plot will be two against 1.27 so let's make it two against 1.28 okay all right so let okay let's make it one decimal place that would be much more easy so that would be two against 1.3 okay so this is two so our 1.3 will be somewhere here okay and then the next one will be three against 1.4 so three against 1.4 okay so 1.4 should be somewhere here okay and then our next plot will be four against 1.5 so four against 1.5 let's put our 1.5 here then this one will be five against 1.6 so five against 
let's put our 1.6 here okay so let's do for the next value okay let me just skip to let me skip to this side okay i'm just showing how you how the plot is done i'm not going to plot everything okay so let's skip to that section so you are plotting one against 3.79 so that'll be what one against 3.8 okay so one against 3.8 will be somewhere here let's see 3.8 is somewhere here okay so one against 3.8 is here and then we are going to have two against two against 3.1 so two against 3.1 okay so 3.1 will be somewhere here okay somewhere here okay and then the next one will be sorry that that's two against 3.1 okay the next one will be three against 2.7 okay three against 2.7 so 2.7 should be somewhere here okay so the next one will be four against 2.6 so four against 2.6 2.6 should be somewhere here then the next one will be five against 2.4 okay so 2.4 should be somewhere here okay so those are the plots okay i just plotted for two c values okay i plotted it when the c value was equal to minus one and then the c value was equal to what two so i'm just going to plot it for all the c values then you're going to have your streamline okay so and then we just have to drain drain the the plots okay so i'm just going to have something like this okay just have to join all of them they must pass through or the, the curve must pass through all the points okay so at the end you're going to be having something like this okay you're going to be having something like this okay so this is how the streamline is going to be okay so when you do all the plots you're going to have something like this okay so i'm going to show you the plot from excel okay that would be the actual plot for this case so i'm going to bring that plot here okay so let's look at that okay guys so this is the graph we generated in the excel okay which is just like the one we're plotting but just that we plotted just this okay and then just this okay we plotted just just those two okay that and then this okay those are the ones that we plotted so let's look at how the streamline will be just join the plots okay you just have to join the plots okay that's not good let me try it again not good okay this is better so you just have to join all the plots okay to get your streamline okay so this will be the streamline okay so you see that each c value has its own streamline okay so the, the depending on the number of C values you choose, you are going to have the streamline. The streamline is proportional to the number that you choose. Okay, so let's take note of that. So this is how to go about this question. Please kindly like the video, and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel so that you can receive updates anytime I upload videos. Thank you.